Hello, so today we're going to follow on the uh, trailer hitch kind of theme. We just did the uh, brake controller in the vehicle. Now we're looking at uh, putting a different ball on the uh, draw bar. So uh, sometimes I rent U-Haul trailers and this is going to be kind of U-Haul specific in this video. So what we have here is a uh, their two inch ball which is rated for 7,500 pounds. And uh, if you just wanted a two inch drop, you could buy a draw bar with the uh, ball mounted on it and you would be good to go. But my Jeep's got a three inch lift, so typically this uh, draw bar here has worked for me with their products. It's a three and a half inch drop, two and a quarter inch rise if you were to flip it upside down. And uh, so this is rated at 7,500 pounds, as you can see, with 750 pound tongue weight. The Jeep is rated for 7,200 pounds with the engine and driveline combination that I've got. So U-Haul trailers, depending on the load you put on them, they can be up to 7,000 pounds is pretty common. But uh, most inch and seven eighths balls are rated for 2,000 pounds. But their trailers will hook up to it, so they have to come and check your ball and make sure it's the right weight capacity. And also the uh, two-inch balls, I think, normally top out around 5,000 pounds. So again, if you go and buy a ball from uh, any random store, it may not work with a U-Haul trailer. And it's usually cheapest at U-Haul anyway, so that's the direction we're going to go. So if you buy them separately, it's kind of interesting. You'll get a, a flat washer and you'll get a couple of plastic pieces which are I've never seen before with anyone else. So this was installed incorrectly from a U-Haul dealer when I got it. I looked at it and uh, because it had a cotter pin in it I wasn't too worried about it falling off so I just let it go. But uh, if the U-Haul has trouble with their new employees not understanding what's going on, I thought we should just do a quick video on this. So uh, the ball they've got has, uh, it's over an inch and a half, whatever the uh, size is. And the uh, nut is the same size. If you've ever done this before, it's hard to stop the ball from spinning. So I like that this has a tab. Some of them have gigantic hex tabs on them, which I don't know what size they'd be. But when you put this together, again, you always read the instructions, so I'll put a link to that in the description. You put this through the draw bar. These are one inch shank on them. You put this piece here, which nests into the nut. So rather than telling you to use a torque wrench, what you're gonna do is tighten this so much that it snaps the plastic off. which I thought that's a pretty good idea because you can't get that wrong, but the plastic is only one use as a result because you destroy it. So when you buy a ball from U-Haul, it comes with uh, two pieces of plastic so you can use it twice, take it off and on. So I bought some stainless uh, cotter pins, but it comes with uh, a little cotter pin anyway. And it comes with uh, a bit of uh, anti-seize that you put on the uh, threads. So other than that, you should look at the draw bar. And this one is stamped 7,500 pounds, tongue weight 750, same as the sticker. I would not leave this in the vehicle because it's going to get corroded and stuck in the vehicle over time if you live anywhere near where I live. So to do this job, I'd recommend getting a really wide jaw kind of uh, adjustable wrench. These are pretty handy. Again, I don't know, it's uh, over 40 centimeters, it's pretty big. If you were to buy a wrench, it would be like probably two feet long and uh, a bit of a hassle. I happened to be at the pawn shop last week and they had uh, the pipe wrench in order to get that whole thing in the shot for 30 bucks and it's uh, pretty big, so I picked that up. It's a, a pretty good solution. If you buy purpose-built wrenches for this, it costs quite a bit of money. 
and uh, side cutters just to open up the uh, anti slip package. So I'm just going to put this into the vehicle upside down. This will be a good test for your vehicle if you tear off the trailer hitch because it's rusty better now than later. So I haven't put any anti-seize on this. That'll affect the torque a little bit, but uh, I'm going to have it off and on a couple times and I'm not going to leave it on the vehicle so I'm not too worried about it getting seized. With this style of trailer hitch, the uh, pin blocks where the chain goes, so sometimes you got to chain up before you uh, put that pin in, which is not good. You don't want to get mixed up. So to tighten this, we're going to put the uh, this wrench on the bottom. So we'll just do it up by hand first. And you can see you can put the cotter pin through now. So you don't, even if you goof it up completely, this will never spin off. It'll get really loose and bang around a lot, but you can't lose the trailer. So I think that U-Haul is pretty keen about setting it up this way because they have so many different customers at different user levels. So this will mark up the not for sure by using a, a pipe wrench on it, but if you can get your hands on one, I think it's the, the way to go. At least you can use it for different things. So you don't need to hold too hard on the bottom. I'm just doing it upside down, it makes it easier. But I'll bring the counter closer now that you see what I'm doing. Just have to unlock the height. Hopefully you can just see that as it breaks off. Try it without the second wrench and see if it grabs. Actually, you can see it's not spinning. If you're taking it off, you definitely need one. This plastic is splitting open here now. It's getting pretty tight. I think it's gone through now. Yeah. So it's sheared off the plastic. So now they say to come by with pliers and you can just push it out of the way. So now for the cotter pin. You can do it two different ways. If you're doing a wheel bearing, sometimes people flip it over that way. But Sorry, you probably couldn't see that entirely. So sometimes people have it turned the other way. You can only use the cotter pin once, so that's why I'm not going to release it right now. Hands are a bit cold, it's hard to do it uh, one handed. So, that's really the job for uh, doing a U Haul trailer hitch, putting the ball on. You don't need to worry about it falling off. You've got your cotter pin here, plus uh, plastic has made sure you've torqued it correctly. And uh, that's it. So, thank you for watching.